What's going on guys? My name is Jay and in this quick video I want to show you how you can export your code from your PSD file or sketch to HTML and CSS. All right, so I'm gonna use the app called Avocode. It's an awesome app. A lot of people are using it. You can see, you can scroll down a little bit here and you can see that you can click on stuff, get some code. You can choose different stuff and you can collaborate with your team or with your, or with your developer. And uh, you know, something very cool. They have a free trial. The app is not free, but I'm using the right now the trial version. So just like you, if you're watching this video. So, all right, let's open the app right here. This is what you're gonna see because we don't have any projects or we don't have designs. So you can have multiple designs inside one project. So right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a project. Uh, my website is about, is some kind of pizza promotion or giveaway or something. Let's call it pizza promotion, all right? And you can choose your platform, web, iOS, or Android. Mine is web, so web, and I'm gonna click on create project. All right, and now we need to add all our design. It says you can drag and drop your PSD file, or if you, you're using Sketch, you need to download a plugin, and then that plugin will sync your design to the app. All right, so I'm gonna open Sketch. All right, and this is what I'm working on. Um, it's very, very simple. I, I keep it simple for this tutorial. I, wanna, I don't wanna take three hours of your time. We have a background with some uh, round borders, a logo with some huge text, and then a small text. That's it, simple. All right, so I downloaded the plugin and installed the plugin. If you click here on plugins, you can see that you have a plugin called Avocode Sync and the version of the plugin. So I'm gonna click there. All right, and now you can see that well, my artboard is showing right here. This one is called pizza. You can see it's called pizza. I have all my layers, you know, with their specific names and you will understand later why they are so important. So I'm gonna click here on my artboard and here you need to select your project. So you can see that I created the project called pizza promotion. So it's right here. I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna click sync artboards. All right, it's successfully synced, click done. And now we can go back to Avocode and you will see nothing because you need to click on this uh, sync uh, icon or reload icon. So I'm gonna click there. And now you can see that we have this uh, pizza design and now you can double click there. So let's double click. All right. And now you can see the magic. I'm gonna click on random stuff like the logo and you can see here that we have options, that we have some CSS code. We can export the image. You can hover the image and make making sure is, uh, you know, it have no background. You can click on the text and you have all the CSS. So, you already know that this is very helpful, right? When you are creating your code, all right? So let's start coding. I'm gonna go to my text editor. This is all I have is, you know, an empty HTML. You know, there's nothing in the body. All I have is a reset CSS. It's all, you know, putting everything in zero and all that stuff, the box sizing. And then a style CSS is, that one is empty. So I'm gonna go here to my index HTML. And the first one, let's go to Avocode. I'm gonna create this background, this gray background with, it has some uh, border, rounded borders. And you can see here, here in the CSS, uh, we have the border radius, we have the background color, and we have the width and the height. And they're giving me already uh, a class. But actually, if, if, if it's not showing a class, you can just go here to this gear icon, 
go to the CSS settings, go to advanced settings, and you can here on show CSS selector, you can, you can see that when you uncheck that, you don't have a class, but when you check it, you have the class, and it's getting that class from the layer, the name of that layer, all right? So that's good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy all. I want all the CSS, I'm gonna use it. Actually, you can change this to uh, CSS for in JavaScript. You can change it to SAS, Android, Swift, all these options, which is amazing because I use SAS a lot, so. But I'm gonna use normal CSS for now. So I'm gonna click on copy everything. I'm gonna copy all this. I'm gonna go back to my text editor. I'm gonna go to my style.css and paste it right there. I'm gonna save it. So the class is a BG. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna create a diff with a class of BG. I'm gonna save that. Let's go to the browser and let's see how it looks. And look at that. We have the background with the borders, same gray, same everything. Of course, we need to center this. This is this can be done with simple CSS. So let's go back to the CSS and I can just add margin. Um, let's add some 20 pixels top and the bottom so we have some space and automatic left and right. So when I save this, we're gonna have a little bit of space right here and down here and it's gonna be center. So let's reload the page. And that's it. Yep, perfect. So let's go back. And right now, the only thing that I'm not gonna use from this code is the height, because the height is gonna depend on the content inside that section. So I'm gonna save that. And now when you reload this page, there's nothing because we have nothing inside of it, but you're gonna see it in a minute. So let's go back to Avocode. Now I need to export this logo, so I'm gonna click there. And they are giving you the CSS. I am not gonna use CSS for the logo. I'm just, I'm just gonna use it uh, like that, with that size. But they give you the option to export the image, so I'm gonna click there. And you can see here, they're giving me the size. Uh, the is gonna be PNG, JPEG, SVG, what, whatever you want, so I'm gonna do it uh, uh, PNG. Export to no is gonna be let's select is gonna be this avocode folder. So yes Avocode. All right export Now let's go to the folder. Let's make sure and here we have it We have the pizza logo there Okay Now let's go back to the text editor it's Supposed to have the pizza logo. Yes, it's right there. So I'm going to go here inside this and I'm just, I'm just going to insert that logo with the image tag, a simple HTML. And the name is logo.png. Let's save it. All right, let's reload the page. And there we have it. The logo is right there. Of course, I need to center the logo. So let's add some padding to the entire BG because I need space, you know, that everything is gonna be right there. I need some space right there. So let's go back to the text editor. Let's add some padding. Oops. Let's say like 60 pixels, something like that. All right, let's reload the page. And there we go. We have some uh, padding right there, so we have some space and things can breathe. All right, so we have 60 pixels padding all over here. Now let's center that text. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add text align center. So everything inside that uh, BG is gonna be centered. Let's reload the page and look at that. The logo is centered. All right, let's go back to Avocode. It's looking pretty good. Yep. All right. Now I need to create this huge text, like win free pizza. And you can see they're giving us one class, one CSS for everything. They're giving us another one 
another class for the win, another class for the free because it's a different color, and then another one for the pizza because it's a different size. All right, so it makes sense. So let's copy everything, let's copy all. Let's add it to our CSS right here, paste, all right. Save that and now we can actually copy the text. As you can see it says win free pizza and they give you the option to copy the text. Perfect, that's what I want. Let's go back to the text editor. Right here, I'm going to create a paragraph tag and then inside here I'm going to create that win free pizza. I mean I'm going to paste the win free pizza um, text. All right, so win have a class, free have a class, and pizza have another class, and everything have another class. All right, so we have everything with a class, the win have a win class, the free have a free class, and the pizza have a the pizza class. So everything is looking good. One thing that I'm not gonna use is the width and height. We don't need that for the text, all right? So we have color, the font size, color and the font size. All right, that's looking good. Let's save the CSS. Let's save this HTML. Let's reload the page. And look at that beauty, amazing. Of course, it is have some line height uh, problems. We can work with that. Man, let's go back here and let's work with the line height. So let's bring this down to maybe a hundred, save it. And look at that. I think it's looking pretty good. Let's go back, yeah. Looking pretty good. Now we need some margin right there. So let's add some margin, maybe margin top 50 pixel, pixels. Save. Yeah, looking good. So yeah, looking pretty awesome. Now we need to add this free one month text. So same thing, I'm just gonna copy this. CSS, I'm gonna go back here, paste it. I'm gonna remove the height and width, I don't need it. Okay, now we have the font size, line height and everything. All right, save that. I'm just gonna go back to Avocode and copy the text, just like we did with this. And I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna create, I'm gonna paste the text inside a paragraph tag. And for one month is the class, let's add that class. Let's save that. Let's reload the page. And there you have it. Awesomeness, we can play with the with the line height, with the, or with the with some margin and stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna let it that way. I I'm gonna let you learn and play with it. So let's go back to Avocode and now I want to uh, do the same thing with this text. This one is a little smaller, you have more space. It's called disclaimer. So I'm gonna just copy all the CSS code back to my text editor, paste it right there. I am, I am not gonna use width and height. We'll remove that. All right, we have color, the font family size, font weight, and it's looking perfect. So let's go and let's create another paragraph tag with a class of uh, disclaimer. I think it was, yes. We need to copy, go back to Avocode, copy the text, done. Paste it right here. And let's close that paragraph. All right, let's save it. Let's save the CSS. Go back here, reload the page, and look at that. 
Perfect. Now I'm going to add some margin there. Very simple margin top, like 50 pixel or something like that. Let's fill the page. And look at this. Amazing. Looking very, very good. Maybe we need some padding. You can see it says 100. So you know what? Let's go back and scroll up. And instead of uh, 60 and uh, 60 padding all around it, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add 60 pixels top and bottom and 100 pixels left and right. Let's see how it looks. And look at that. It's looking better. We have the space that actually the, the text is a lot more similar now. You know. All right. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.